G'day, David Seymour back with another session of the nitty gritty of selling. Now you may have noticed I haven't done anything for the last few days and look, I'm going to be brutally honest, I sort of lost um, a little bit of my mojo on it to be honest and that's related to my um, terminal illness. If you didn't know already, I have motor neuron disease and some days to stay focused is just a little bit hard. And so it's made me think over the last um, 48 hours or so about uh, what it is that actually keeps you going. And it's that commitment to wanting to deliver. That commitment to wanting to be a little bit better. And I do want to be a little bit better at what I do. Even though I don't get paid to do this, um, I just want you, the salespeople out there, the business owners out there, just to take a long hard look at yourselves and saying, why are we so fucking procrastination uh, orientated? Why are we so lazy and why are we so blase and complacent about our business? For so long, you've been doing it along, you just go along and along and along and along like this and you don't change anything, you don't um, improve anything and you just do what you do because that's what everybody else does. For fuck's sake, if you want to be a little bit better, you've got to get up and actually change a few things. Be a little bit better. Be a little bit different. Be a bit bolder than what you have been. Don't be afraid. And I know it's easy for me to stand here and go, oh, you need to do these things. Take a look at me. Take a look at my history. When I was in insurance, I was one of the top client business managers for FEMG for seven years. When I was selling Sunshine Homes, I took their average yearly production in Whangarei from 30 odd sales a year to over 50 sales a year. And when I was selling real estate, I was in the multi-million dollar chapter for seven years. And I made what they call the life membership. And there was only a handful of people within the organization that actually achieved that. And it's not a Skype thing. It's about wanting and just wanting to keep doing things a bit better. And it frustrates the fuck out of me that there's some good salespeople out there, but you just keep doing the same boring shit instead of stepping your game up, trying to improve what it is that you do. Why are you so scared? Why are you so scared to step outside your comfort zone? Just try something new. Don't keep doing what everybody else has done because you'll just keep getting what you've always got and maybe that could be fuck all. Now I know there's salespeople out there that have had really good years in the past and you get all busy, but then you get complacent about what it is you're doing and before you know it, your business is in a downward spiral and you're trying to figure out what the fuck's gone wrong. Well, it was you. It was you that went fucking wrong. What do I mean by that? It's because you got busy, you forgot to do all those small things that you need to do to keep growing your business. You started doing what everybody else would do, and that is fuck all. That's the cold hard truth of it. Don't feel bad, just want to get even. Get better. Step it up. You know, and I say to real estate people time and time again, and I said it when I was working in the industry, and I've said it ever since, why do you keep advertising free property appraisals? Well, who the fuck charges for them? Nobody. Come up with more uh, appropriate wording. Come up with something better, something different from everybody else. How hard is that? Why do your social media posts just keep saying, Oh, look what I've listed, look what I've sold, look what I've listed, look what I've sold. That's not inspiring to future clients. Engage them with materials that they'll actually find interesting. Yes, now and again you have to ask for the business. But don't just keep putting up the same boring shit time after time after time. Jazz it up. Get a little bit creative. Create a video, a branding video about yourself. Tell people what it is you're passionate about. Tell people what it is that you really get excited about. Tell people what it is that you support or the groups that you support. 
the areas that you work in. Tell them about some of your successes, but tell them in such a way that it's not like, oh, look what I sold. Have a little story. Stop just putting up photos of sold signs. It's fucking boring. Does that sound too harsh? It probably is. And hey, I don't make any excuses. I don't make any excuses whatsoever for being so blunt about it. But there are people out there who are way better than what you are actually operating at at the moment. You need to consider what it is that's holding you back from doing things just a little bit bolder, a little bit brighter, stepping outside that comfort zone. And here's the thing. How many of you in the last 12 months or so have been to some form of training, heard some good ideas, you go, oh yeah, you should probably try that. And all of a sudden, it's gone. Oh, actually, I don't know if I want to do that. It might be a bit scary. I don't know if I need to do stuff like that. Always be looking at ways to improve. You don't have to work harder. You don't have to work another 10 or 20 or 30 hours a week. You just need to work better at what it is you're doing. Your presentation packs, make them sharper. Make them more informative. Your open home packs, make them more informative. Give people more information. Your sales presentations, your quotes, the way you go about your business, and it doesn't matter what industry it is, jazz it up, snazz it up, make it better. Make the way you do business just a little bit better. Be really there. Don't be so complacent and blasé about it. Don't think that you're too busy that you can't improve. Because if that's your mentality, you're fucking screwed. Seriously, are getting any better. You've got to have that mentality that you want to do things a little bit better. Do them a little bit sharper. Do them a little bit more um, snazzy. Look for new ideas. Listen to some training stuff and actually implement those ideas. I, mean, I was just listening this morning to a young guy in Adelaide, 24 years old, writing nearly a million dollars worth of commission because he just keeps doing the basics and every day and then he looks for ways to actually build and improve on what he's doing. 24 years old, he's got a couple of PAs under the uh, in the team and he's smashing it because he just keeps uh, working on the ways to get better. Look, it doesn't matter how many times you try something and it doesn't succeed. It doesn't mean you don't necessarily give up. You've got to keep trying. You know, there's a thing I heard the other day, a guy who had cancer, it, said, it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get back up that's going to make the difference. And it's going to make the difference to the quality of your life. So here's the thing. You go to a training seminar. They say you should do X, Y, Z. And you think, cool, let's try this. But don't go out and just try it tomorrow for one day. Keep trying. Keep practicing. Get better at what it is that you're doing. Or sharper at what you're doing. The way you present things. It's the way that you present them. Just needs that little bit of work. That's great. Well, go out and do it. But you've got to do these things for more than just um, a couple of days. As it's been said before, what you do for the next 30 days will govern the next 90 days worth of business. And it doesn't matter, again, what industry you're in, but that's so true. So just because it doesn't give you instant gratification today doesn't mean it doesn't work. You may just need to hone your skills on it. Don't be afraid to try and keep trying. Get knocked down, get back up again. It doesn't matter how many no's you get when you're making those phone calls. Eventually there'll be some yeses. And that's where the business is. Don't be afraid to make that extra phone call. And here's the thing. If you've been watching my videos, you would have seen me interview Shane Cortez the other day. And what a great guy that Shane was. And I thank him very much for his time. But that didn't happen just because it happened. It happened because I decided I wanted to interview someone like Shane. So I made the phone call. And I'll tell you what, I was as nervous as hell having to ring this guy up and tell him who I was, tell him my story about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, and then ask if he could spare me half an hour of his time. 
Not only did he spare me half an hour of his time, he came to me. I didn't have to go to him. He made it happen for me. But it happened because I was brave enough to step outside my comfort zone and make that phone call. So I'm urging you, start thinking about how you can do it just a bit sharper, a bit better. Look at everything that you're doing. What can you tweak? How can you make it better? How can you deliver this better than your opposition? And that opposition will be people even in your own office, on your own yard, whatever it may be. But you know, it doesn't matter what business you're in, you've got to keep growing for God's sake. You can be better than what you are. It's not that hard. And I tell you, one of the most important things is, is get on the phone or even do this face to face and actually get in front of people because you're going to get more business than that than posting stuff on Facebook all the time. You're going to get far more results, better results. Hey, that's me for today. David Seymour, Nitty Gritty of Selling.